photographer from Panama City Beach, Florida. Alrighty, this is a really fun video that I am producing for y'all. Because this is going to help a lot of you out there and this is the reason why. First and foremost, this is an extension of you know, the wardrobe resource guide that I just uh, launched recently through one of my campaigns. Um, and for those of you who, by the way, do not have access to that, uh, please go to my website, www.theblissfulreveal.co, okay? C-O, C-O, <laughs> not com, it's C-O, because I know people sometimes are like, oh, I can't find my website, but because it's dot C-O. Get your hands on that resource. Why do you need to invest in a good piece of lingerie? It is important because obviously it's the first piece of fabric that touches your skin, right? So you want to make sure that it feels comfortable, it feels soft, uh, and it's really you. So it should be your taste. Like it should really define who you are as a woman, as much as uh, for the man or the woman who you are uh, wanting to do this for as a gift. So sometimes, you know, the women will bring like a little jersey of their men's favorite team. So if they want to like throw that into the shoot I am more than happy to you know uh, do that for them and it also is something special that they can frame maybe later on maybe put it on the side of their like home office or something um, so yeah that's just another idea but also because um, you really want to invest in yourself like I cannot press this fact more that like, ladies you all need to understand the significance of investing in yourself, okay? Now, I know, you know there's an investment as an education that we uh, give ourselves and we equip ourselves with, like I did, you know, for um, getting better at photography when I joined uh, the local college here and I, uh, you know, got through some courses. Um, that's, you know, one kind of investment or when we become mothers, we, um, try to like find our tribe and we try to like educate ourselves and how to like raise kids so that's like another kind of investment but this investment is purely for yourself for those of you who are going to come to me directly on your own for the men who are wanting this uh, for them as a couple like as a couple's boot or shoot this is going to be investment in both of you as uh, partners right you always 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 want to invest in yourself okay because down the road when you are let's say in your 30s or 40s or 50s 60s 70s 80s 90s you know um, and I you know hope to live that long I hope to have that long of a healthy life um, you would love 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 looking at these images of when you were younger right so you want to do it uh, for that also and then you want to do it for the sake of leaving legacy and that is extremely powerful now let's get to the juicy part of uh, some of the options right here that I have hung here to show you from my experience of like uh, talking to women uh, having women come in my studio and show me the kind of these pieces they bring in or just from me watching um, what kind of pieces look better on one woman and what looks better on the other although you know just for the record you can go buy anything anything that you love to wear that makes you feel comfortable that um, is you like you hundred percent you or you can come in with nothing at all or just like you know necklaces of pearls or something that you may have like a prop or a pendant something that holds a lot of significance for you in your life that somebody special may have given to you so you could always uh, just throw that in nothing else or we could just do a shoot with like you know wrap you up with like the linen or white uh, satin or cotton fabric so you know just some ideas Alright, so now without any further ado, let's dig in. Now this, by the way, I'm shooting like, a, what is this, like a, a July. Um, I know like another two or three months, uh, probably like two months or so at the max, I'm going to start receiving requests from you all um, about uh, shoots for Thanksgiving or Christmas. So, and just know, you know, it's never too early to plan. Also, because of the deadlines are going to be end of October, most probably. Mm, maybe beginning of November too, because albums, these are handmade albums that are coming all the way from either uh, Europe or uh, United States. Depends on, you know, what 
fabric or um, style of album you pick from my studio. So according to that, then I send it to that particular vendor. All right, so this first one is uh, a sweater. Right. And I know you never thought about a sweater, but guess what? Sweaters work really well for everyone, first of all. You know, if you're wanting a little bit more coverage, um, like up here, or for those women who are, um, you know, a little bit concerned about their arms, and they don't feel comfortable showing their arms too much, so they can always throw a sweater. Now, this is really great because this is quite loose and wide, so when you're going out there, um, just know to get a sweater that's wide, and this actually can go like off the shoulder, so you can play with it a little bit in the shoe, and um, you know, we can make you look sexy <laughs> like that. And uh, yeah, this is a great piece to have. It is really soft and uh, Alright, so I really like this one. Uh, if you are looking to do a shoot with just uh, totally comfortable things and maybe kind of like a fall or wintery theme, like I said, you could pair this up with some furry or some knitted or cotton socks like a, that go all the way up to your knees. You know, that looks really cool by the way with this. Alright, now the second one is another slight variation. This is a full fur, right? Now, this is open, so, you know, it's open, like that it has no uh, hooks or buttons. So, you can just wear it on your shoulders and just play with it a little bit. If this is all that you want to wear, then I think this is a great piece to have. I did a shoot for a female who just wore this and I wrapped her in some sheets and you will see that image also here in a little bit. This next piece, guys, is something that I think every woman should have, especially if you're not as comfortable in the beginning, a robe. Now, the best part about robes is it comes in all different materials, right? So this one is a little sheer, but you can bring silk, satiny robes, you can bring uh, full furs, you can bring um, cotton robes, anything that you still want to wear on top. Uh, for a little bit more coverage, you know, for those of you who are wanting a little bit more coverage down here, down below your waist too, this is going to be a really good piece to have, okay? You can play with the strings, we can uh, do some shots with you uh, wearing it slowly, so, you know, I could like put an album, like make a sequence where you're slowly taking it off, you could do like a storyline, so this is a good piece to have for that. Guys, again, another piece, I cannot say enough about this piece either, so this is a romper, um, or a jumpsuit. Now this one is in cotton, soft cotton and full sleeves again. Really great for winter time themes or even if you want coverage on your arms or coverage down here uh, like below your waist. This piece um, accentuates all body types. So this is one piece you really want to have for your shoot because this is really gonna look great on all body types. So uh, this comes again in a lot of different fabrics, sheer, uh, uh, satins, this is uh, cotton. I did my own boudoir shoot in uh, a sheer fabric, okay? So, and actually I'm going to show you that. Here, you can see it. This is the one that I wore, right? So it went like all the way up here. Let's talk about the next one. Now for those of you who are into role playing, now I know a lot of you men and women out there have these fantasies where you want to role play a specific character, right? So this one is a schoolgirl. Uh, for those of you who uh, are looking to maybe do like a librarian kind of a look or a schoolgirl, this is a great piece to have, again, online in my resource guide. I have given a lot of different links to the websites. By the way, all those uh, websites that I mentioned, everything there is clickable, the PDF file, and it's, you know, to, for your convenience to save you time. So this one, um, you can tie like a little bow in the front, and uh, it has this cute little lace, so for any uh, close-up shots on your thighs or on, like, on your back, this is going to look so cute, like, because it has lace in it. Another one, crop tops are really great guys if you want to do a shoot on the beach. Um, something different from just a bikini, you know, crop tops are really in. The knitted ones are really in these days, so this one has a golden cord around it. 
and it obviously you know, ends like right here. I had a female uh, try this on for one of her uh, portfolio shoots. She bought a golden color boy shorts to go with this. So, you know, you can put this on and then if you need more coverage, you can get like boy shorts too to match with this. So she matched it with the golden cord. Alright, the next four pieces that I have here are kind of like more or less the same, but just a slight variation, okay? Uh, this one is a corset. Now, this falls under the hard category of lingerie. Remember, there are only two types of lingerie, um, soft and hard. Uh, soft is obviously, you know, you can tell from the fabric, the lace and the shears and something like this. This is like soft and this is hard because of all these sewed in um, cords that they have in there to keep the fabric in its place. It's got like a little bit of lining underneath it. This has hooks in the front and lace up on the back. So, you know, if you are looking for those uh, shots with the close-ups of bottoms or the back of your female, this is something that's going to look really great. And also, if you're looking for those, uh, kind of like those uh, biker looks or um, or like women from the past, like the vintage uh, kind of a look, the corsets uh, work really great for that. This looks really also great with uh, stockings or garter belts, which I'm also going to go over in a little bit. Uh, this one is absolutely beautiful, you know, it's a lace, floral lace print, and one of my female uh, friends uh, quite some time ago wore this. It was actually part of a conceptual um, art gallery show that I did here in Panama City and it talked about our sexualities and she wore this one in that. This again, uh, just to show you the teddies, these are called like teddies, right? Uh, with, this has a slit so a woman can uh, play with this, so something for her to hold on to in her hands if she doesn't know what to do with her hands and things like that, so um, something like this is helpful. And it comes with this, this beautiful tongue, it has these very pretty beads again great for those back shots take your pointers this next one i think is great for uh, kind of like role playing as well because uh, this kind of looks like an apron like from the kitchen so if you have a shoot in mind it's by the way uh backless so you just make like a, a pretty little bow in the back if you know you're looking to do a shoot where you wanna um be shot as somebody who's cooking in the kitchen and playing with flour or like you're all covered in flour or like you have a, um, you're like cooking a cupcakes and like you have icing over you so something like this that looks like an apron is a great piece to have okay for those of you who are looking a little bit more coverage uh, rather than just like a regular bra this is uh, kind of like a bralette so this has an extension of lace that's covering the cups here uh, you can always pair this up with boy shorts too if you want more coverage in this area this next piece oh my gosh i love this one uh, this goes really great for a lot of different things but if you want me to be really specific for christmas right or valentine's or if red is her color or if red is your color um this is a sheer black and red with this cute little bow in the center right here and it comes with a really pretty palm with a little bow something to keep in mind this is always something great to give as a gift this is something that is very trendy these days if you have not looked at a lot of the websites again please go check out the resource guide that accompanies this video again on my website www.theblissfulreveal.co and then hit the tab resources and from there you get it a lot of the brands out there are now making uh, bras like these so this has this really beautiful lace going on here in the center and then open cuts on the side this is uh, one piece you really want to have. If, if you just want all lace, then this is the piece you want to have. The last one. I'm leaving the best for last. Uh, this is all leather. Now, by the way, if you just want to bring one thing, try to bring it lace. But if you want to bring two things, you should bring lace and leather. Because you can never go with wrong with either one of them, you know. And if you're just looking for something just particular in leather to shoot with then obviously you have your leather this is a corset it's got lace going on one side lace up and then 
um, a zipper on the other. This is like a two-way, so you can wear it on either side. You know, it goes up here. Now this falls under the hard uh, category of the lingerie. You know, as you can tell, this has like a, a sewn-in cords to keep the shape of it and it stays in position on your body too so and this is brand new you know it hasn't been used as some of the other pieces too uh, this has the straps also so you could wear it with the strap or without the strap it's up to you oh one last thing here I don't have that on the hanger for those of you who've never gone out and ever bought any lingerie just know when you're going out there to get garden belts to go with the stockings for women you know, who want to wear the heels and just do the whole nine yards. Uh, they are two different kinds of garter bills. So one that comes with the panty with it, this one has a panty attached to it, right? So it's lace and it's got the garter bells and uh, it's really pretty frilly this stuff here. Um, it looks really pretty with um, you know, sheer stockings, sheer black stockings or white with a black bow maybe or even with red stockings with uh, black bow or white bow and you can pair that up with some really sexy stilettos. This is uh, one kind of uh, the lowers that you can wear. Another one is this. <clears throat> so this comes without it, right? This kind of garter belt comes without the panty. It looks really pretty on its own if you're just wanting a cute, fun, um, sweet kind of like polka dot -y. if you're in that mood so go ahead and get yourselves one of these uh, with a little bit of color so this has a cute pink bow you can look for one in um, purple bows or red bows you know it's up to you whatever color is your taste so you get that always remember you know, in the end you need to buy something that is comfortable for you or you look great in it so you need to do yourself a favor and get yourself a measure women please do that because a photograph will only look great if you're wearing the right size of lingerie, right? This is another kind, it's red. For something like this, let's say if I found, um, if I had a female wear this on top, she could pair this up with something like this on the bottom, if it were the kind of the same color, or even with something in a black. And so with this, I'm going to try to wrap this all up here. And let me show you one more thing. And you may be wondering why do I have this in my hand? I use this in one of my own shoots too. In my next video that I'll be talking about, that I'll be, you know, dropping in another couple weeks or so, it talks about the props and the accessories that we can use, you know, fun things like these. And on my site, you must have seen like a shot or two there, or even on any of my social media platforms if you're following me on Instagram or Facebook. You must have seen the images of women holding this or something similar. These are really fun. This gives the woman something to hold on to for some playful shots. So I hope with this video that I went over with you some of the wardrobe recommendations. And by the way, you don't need to just get just these things only. Uh, you can just go bring a dress and you look so gorgeous in just a dress if that's what you're wanting. Like if you're wanting like borderline beauty with our kind of shoe, you can just simply wear a dress, a lace dress, a satin dress, a cotton dress, anything that you look really pretty in. You know, we can do the shoot at the beach. We can do it in a, a different kind of location of your uh, liking. When you are going to go to the book a shoot form in my site, you'll see I've given in the drop down menu some options, like some of the places that um, we can shoot at. It just doesn't have to be in my studio either. And I hope this um, helps you overcome that fear that you also had like oh I don't know if this is for me or I don't know if I should do this or I don't have the courage to do this I'm not fierce enough well this will help you in becoming fierce that is one of my goals you know to help you overcome that fear this is the you know push in the right direction this will start you on the right path so this is like step one, uh, helping you decide what to get for your shoot. Um, and then from there, you can always get in touch with me through my website or on any of the social media platforms that you're at. And, uh, you know, we can talk details about your shoot. We can like brainstorm ideas and um, try and make this happen for you.